Lesson 5.6, practice two-digit subtraction with regrouping. Before we begin, I want to remind you that in subtraction, the first number is the minuend, the next one is the subtrahend, and then we have the answer, the difference. And when it's written as a standard algorithm, just the regular way like this, the top number is the minuend, we're taking away the subtrahend, and the answer is the difference. So far, we've learned that we can subtract using different ways. We can break apart the subtrahend to use mental math. We learned that in videos 5.1 and 5.2. We break the 16 into a 10 and a 6, and we use mental math to take 10 away from 31. That's 21. We break the 6 into a 1 and a 5 because there's a 1 here. We took away 10, we're at 21. We take away the 1, now we're at 20. We take away the 5, we're at 15. We also learned to use a number line, to use base 10 blocks to model the problem, and to use a quick drawing to model the problem. We have also learned to regroup a 10 as 10 ones when we don't have enough ones. We have 31 minus 16, and what we do is we look at the 6, and we ask ourselves, can we take 6 away from this 1? And no, we can't, so we need to regroup a 10 from the 10's place. The 3 becomes two 10's, and we give that 1 10 to the 1's place as 10 1's. Now, instead of 1 1, we have 11 1's, and 11 minus 6 is 5. We do 2 minus 1 10 is 1 10. We have 15. Tala had 40 stickers. Then she gave 18 stickers to Sophia. How many stickers does Tala have now? We think Tala had 40 and gave 18 away. That means we have 40 minus 18. And we look at the ones place. There are eight ones in the subtrahend. Can we take eight ones away from zero ones? No, there's not enough to subtract eight from zero. So we need to regroup a 10 as 10 ones. We take a 10 from the 10's place, and now instead of four 10's, we have three 10's. And we give it to the 1's place as 10 1's. Now we don't have zero 1's, we have 10 1's. And 10 minus 8 is equal to 2. And three 10's minus one 10 is two 10's. That means she has 22 stickers. It's telling us to write the difference. That means we need to subtract and write the answer. We have 62 minus 14. We start by looking at the ones place. We have two ones and we need to take four away. So we don't have enough ones. So we're going to regroup and turn this six tens into five tens. We're gonna give it to the ones place as 10 ones. And we had two, so 10 and two is 12. We don't have two anymore. We have 12 ones, and 12 ones minus 4 is 8 ones. Now we do 5 tens minus 1 ten is 4 tens. 62 minus 14 is equal to 48. Let's try it one more time. We have 85 minus 49. We look at the ones place, and we see we have a 5 in the menu end and a 9 in the subtrahend. And we don't have enough ones to take nine away from five, so we need to regroup from the tens place. The eight becomes a seven. We give ten, ten, ten ones to the ones place. So instead of five ones, we now have 15 ones. And 15 minus nine is equal to six. Seven tens minus four tens is three tens. That means 85 minus 49 is equal to 36. If you look at the regrouping, you see in the ones place, it's just 10 more. And when you look in the tens place, it's one less than what was there. See that? Seven is one less than eight, and 15 is 10 more than the five. Five is one less 10 than six. 12 is 10 more ones than the two. Remember the subtrahend is the bottom number that is subtracted and taken away. 32 take away 17. 
the subtrahend is 17, that's the amount we're taking away from 32. We start by looking at the ones place. We only have two ones and we're trying to take away seven ones, so we don't have enough. So the three tens becomes two tens. We give 10 ones to the ones place, so instead of two ones, we now have 12 ones. 12 ones minus seven ones is five ones. Two tens minus one ten is one ten. It's equal to 15. So remember, the bottom number, the subtrahend, is what we're taking away from the top number, the minuend. Now you're going to have to put your thinking caps on for this one. Here's some higher order thinking skills. We need to write the missing numbers in the subtraction problem. So we have a missing minuend and a missing subtrahend. It says the regrouping for the problem is shown. So we think the regrouped ones show 14. Well, if we regrouped, that means we added 10. That means this must have been a four, which became a 14. If this is a five, that means we must have taken a 10 away. This must have been a six. Then we think, okay, we've got the regrouped numbers. This became a five, the four became a 14. We know that was 64. Our difference down here has six ones. So for 14 to have something taken away that's six ones, this must have been an eight because 14 minus eight is equal to six. And we look over here and see we have a five as our regrouped number and the difference is a three. Well, this must have been two because five tens minus two tens is three tens. So do you see how we did that? We looked at the regrouped numbers and thought with the ones place, well, that's 10 more than was there. So that must have been a four. And we look at the five and say, well, one ten was taken away. So that must have been a six. Then we just subtracted the regrouped ones minus the difference to give us the ones for the subtrahend. And we subtracted the difference for the tens to find the missing tens for the subtrahend. We're going to be using related facts. It says Sarah took 54 pennies from her jar. There are 28 pennies left in her jar. How many pennies were in the jar to start? So she had some unknown number of pennies in her jar. She took away 54 and now there are 28 left. So we can use a related addition equation to solve this. If we add the 54 and the 28, that's going to tell us how many she had to start. And look at the ones place. We have 8 plus 4, that's 12. We regroup a 10 in the tens place and put the two in the ones place. Then we do five, six, seven, eight. It's easier to start with the largest number than add the smaller numbers. So we go five, six, seven, eight. We know she had 82 cents to start. That's 82 pennies to start. Mrs. Kim baked 46 brownies. She sold 18 brownies. Then she baked 35 more brownies. How many brownies does she have now? We think there's two ways to solve this. The first way is we can subtract the 46 she baked minus the 18 she sold. Then whatever the difference is, we'll add that to the 35 more that she baked. Then we'll know how much she has now. We look at the ones place. There's six ones. We need to take eight away and we can't. There aren't enough. So we're going to take a 10 from the tens place. So now there's three tens. We're going to give it to the ones place as 10 ones. So now instead of six ones, we have 16 ones. 16 minus eight is equal to eight. And three tens minus one ten is two tens. So she had 28 after she sold some, then she baked more. 
Now we add these together because now there's more we need to add. 8 plus 5 is 13. We regroup the 10, put the 3 in the 1's place, and 3, 4, 5, 6 10's. That means she has 63 now. Now, the other way to solve this is we add together the numbers baked. She baked 46, she baked 35. We can add these together first. 6 plus 5 is 11. We regroup a 10, put the 1 in the 1's place. We have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 10's. That's 81. Now, we take the 81 baked and subtract the 18. We have 8 that we're trying to take away from 1, but we don't have enough, so we need to regroup from the tens place. So now we have 7 tens. We give it to the ones place as 10 ones. So now instead of 1 one, we have 11 ones. And 11 minus 8 is equal to 3. And 7 tens minus 1 ten is 6 tens. We have 63, just like we had doing it this way. So there can be more than one way to solve a problem, but one way is usually easier than the other. We know she has 63 brownies now. We're going to review using mental math to subtract. Here we have 72 minus 30. This is an easy one because this is a tens number. We just need to take away three tens from the seven tens. That's four tens, and we just put the two. It's equal to 42. Here we have 72 minus 12. We're going to take away that two and a 10. If we take away this two, there's going to be a zero in the ones place. If we take away one 10 from seven tens, that's going to be six tens. It's equal to 60. Here we have 72 minus 18. Now this one looks like it might be a little difficult, but do you remember we can break apart this 18 subtrahend? We can break it into a 10 and an 8. And then we look at the 2 in the 1's place. So we know one of the numbers that the 8 is going to be broken into is going to be a 2. And the other one is going to be what's left over to make an 8. That would be a 6. So we think we're going to do 72 minus 10. Now we're at 62. Now we take away 2. Now we're at 60. We take away 6 more. We have 54. This one is probably the easiest. We have 72 minus 2. We have 7 tens, 2 ones, and we're just taking away 2 ones. That means there's going to be a zero in the ones place, and we didn't take away any tens, so there's going to still be a seven in the tens place. It's equal to 70. We were able to use mental math to subtract all of these. So just remember, be careful that the subtrahend is the bottom number that is subtracted and taken away from the number above it. Our next lesson, 5.7, we're going to rewrite two-digit number sentences and do it for subtraction. Have a really nice day. Bye.